Aloha everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be making a candy display box for all the trick-or-treaters. This is a project I did last Halloween before my family and I moved to Japan. So I didn't get a chance to edit everything. I'd like to go ahead and present this to you now that I have the opportunity to do so. I love Halloween. I love everything about it. People dressing up, the atmosphere, the decorations, the scary movies, everything. This is my favorite time of the year. For this project I had a bunch of scrap wood laying around. So I decided to utilize everything just so I could make some space in my garage. Again, this is when I was living in Hawaii. What you still I don't have this garage I don't have this space anymore after I measure all my wood I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything to size unfortunately I do not have the measurements but I'm hoping you can watch and draw some inspiration from it and uh, kind of use this as more of a guideline now it's time to cut everything down but of course safety first Nothing scarier than being unsafe. I used to work in a professional kitchen. You can ask my old cooks to tell you what a pain in the ass I was about safety. The plywood I'm cutting up is gonna be for the box up and the lid. I'm cutting up a two by eight into four equal pieces. These are gonna be the legs for the candy box. These little scrap pieces are going to be used for the lid and this scrap 2x2 is going to be made into a post to hold the box top. To assemble the post, I'm going to glue these 2x2s together. You can avoid this step if you just so happen to have a scrap 4x4 laying around, which I doubt that you do. Otherwise, you can glue together a bunch of 2x2s like I'm doing right here. After I glue them all together, it's time to create my monster. I know it looks ridiculous, but you gotta keep these posts together. Again, you can avoid this step if you have a spare 4x4 laying around. This part is pretty standard for every project. Sand on your pieces after cutting them. Now it's time for assembly of the box. Everything's gonna be put together with wood glue and two inch wood screws. Every screw gets a pocket hole. I recommend these corner clamps if you need to hold anything at a 90 degree angle. They are a game changer. I'm gonna attach some hinges onto this door. This will be the opening where the trick-or-treaters will go ahead and grab the candy. I also install a magnet to help keep the door closed. As I'm watching this video, I'm having flashbacks of when I used to live in Hawaii. This garage was my sanctuary. I had all my tools. Once we moved, I had to get rid of 80% of them. I'm so sad, but I was really excited about our new beginnings in Japan. This piece of scrap wood is going to be the handle for the box top. I drew some pocket holes through the lid and the handle, drew the screws in, and lined the screws up with the pocket holes of the handle.
These little pieces here are going to prevent the lid from sliding around. Now I'll screw the legs onto the post. I made these legs a little bit longer than I wanted to. I wasn't sure if there were going to be any kids yanking on the box. I wanted to make sure it didn't fall on them as they were doing so. I'm securing the box top onto the post now. I'm gonna draw the outline of a jack-o'-lantern onto the box and begin painting. I had this black paint laying around from a project that I did earlier. If you haven't seen it, it's the scrap palette that I use to make a display. If you haven't already, check out the video if you need more inspiration or ideas for Halloween decorations. This orange paint was the only paint I bought. I had some spare green paint as well that I'm gonna use to paint the box top with. Once I was done with the project, what I ended up doing was making little bags of candy and then putting them into the top of the box so the trick-or-treaters could grab candy a bag at a time rather than having a bunch of loose candy in the box. I also attached a rope handle. And here's the final result. I did end up putting this display out on the street near a street lamp so you will be able to see the design. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for not having the measurements but I hope you can draw inspiration from this and do your own project and come up with your own design. Stay safe. Mahalo, aloha. And happy Halloween.